Hi, I'm, my name is Jeff Shaw. Welcome to Davis Media Accesses in the studio. I'm here today with a special guest. This is Aisha Basin. She's the executive producer of Aggie Studios, and we're going to learn a little bit about Aggie Studios today. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm glad you made it over here. We've been wanting to connect with Aggie Studios. Um, back in the day when it was Aggie TV, we sort of yeah. had some connections, but I'm glad you made it over today. Yeah, we're definitely looking to like reach out to more of the Davis community, so this is a great start. So cool. thanks. So tell me again, your title is executive producer. Yes. Uh, when did you start with, uh, we started out as Aggie TV. Tell me about mm -hmm. that first off. So. so when I first started the organization or with the organization, uh -huh. my freshman year, we were Aggie TV. Um, and we just didn't feel like the name really encompassed everything we do. We do yeah. film, we do TV, we do photography, uh, we do everything. And so we, we switched over to Aggie Studios in May of this year. Okay. And so... Tell me a little bit about how what it is exactly. Is it a department? Is it a, a unit? Or how does it yeah. exist within the larger structure of UC So Davis? we have ASUCD, which is our on-campus student government. Okay. Um, and we're technically a unit of them. And okay. we operate with another unit called Creative Media. Um, they do a lot of graphics and websites and so more media. So Creative Media, is that the larger umbrella unit for you guys? Or how does that Yeah, work? so we like if we were looking at the layers, it will be like ASUCD, Creative Media, and then Aggie Studios. And so who else is under Creative Media in that scheme of things? Um, they're their own unit, too. Okay. So we both do media and online production. So it just made a natural fit for us to go together. Gotcha. And yeah. where are you located? Where is the... So our studio is in the basement of the MU on campus. Um, it's called... Freeborn? Lower, oh, yeah, basement Yeah, Freeborn Lower Freeborn. Okay. Yeah. Um, so near KDVS and near the, mm -hmm. is the, is the, is the Cal Aggie still down there too? Yeah, we're right across from them. Um, so okay. all the media units are together, which is nice since we like to work together. And how many people are currently there and how many people have been, oh, and there's a shot of your studios right there. Yeah. Thanks for bringing that up. I can see the green screen in the background. Yeah. Uh, which is probably a key thing for and such a small our, studio. our members working. So how many members do you have about? And so on our executive board, we have about 10. Wow. Um, and then they're responsible for their each content group. So like sports, news, entertainment, creative. Um, oh, those are anchors for yeah. a new show. Um, they operate within teams about 20. So there's about 60 to 80 people, um, and they're all volunteer. Wow. Now, so. 60 to 80 people, do, there's no way they all fit in that room. No, no. Um, our, we do our meetings in a different room in the MU, but there's different stories happening all the time, sure. so it doesn't clash too often. People come and go and use the equipment. Yeah. So is, do, you, do you own a bunch of equipment, or how does that work? Is it the... Yeah, so we have a bunch of our own equipment. We don't have, an, we don't have too much since we're still very small, um, and we have an assortment of computers. So we just like go out. We have mics, cameras. Uh, bunch of com editing software and so do we, how things. do you manage uh, everyone checking it out at the same time do you have a system to, yeah you know? lots of Google Docs yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots of Google Docs um, and lots of check systems we have video senior videographers who look over all of the content before it goes out online um, we have social media departments we have news department. So yeah. there's a lot of checks and balances to make sure things are operating smoothly. And are you the sole executive producer or are there, are there others? I mean, do you have to, so you kind of oversee people who oversee other people and it yeah. goes on down that and you, it yes. goes on down the line. Yeah. So I guess you'd say like I'm a unit director almost. Okay. Um, and I operate with the unit director of creative media too. So, so do you have to go to ASUCD and ask for funds? Is that how that works or how does a, yeah, I mean, they control our budget. Um, as well, we also bring in uh, money from client projects. We started doing a oh. lot of private projects. Um, okay. So we've worked with like the American Red Cross up here. Mm. We've worked with different organizations throughout Davis. Um, and we charge a small, small fee, but we still charge um, and bring in money for some of the work we do. So um, I'll definitely want to ask you more about that. Yeah. Um, and uh, tell me about the logistics of sort of producing. Uh, is, tell me first off some of the shows that you produce. Uh, yeah, so most of our content so far has just been videos on campus um, and then special creative shorts like sketches. Um, we just did a feature film that's going to come out soon. Um, but wow. our main show right now is a show called Aggie Now, and 
It's only in its fifth week of production. It's a weekly talk show that's supposed to be what we call all things Aggie. Okay. Um, so we have about four anchors, which they showed earlier. Right. Um, and they discuss everything from sports happening on campus to some new news, some cultural events, um, and even some funny stories like what are the squirrels on campus doing? Sure. So. Let's go. We have a clip of that. Let's go to that briefly yeah. and uh, see a couple, couple seconds of it, about 30 seconds. Hello and welcome to another episode of Aggie Now, your source for all things Aggie. My name is Miguel. I'm Riley. I'm Alice. And I'm Nika. So last Thursday was actually a really exciting day for us. It was the very first day that the UC Fair Wage program came into effect. And what that includes is that it basically will cause an exponential increase every year until the minimum wage for UC employees reaches $15 uh, per hour. It also applies to only students or employees who work at least 20 hours per week. That's actually something really interesting because that causes the minimum wage to be higher than the state's minimum wage, which is actually $9 an hour. So what do you guys think? How does that affect the rest of us, you know, students and employees alike? Students are some of the hardest working employees we have on campus here, and we definitely need that extra money for, you know, textbooks, guacamole on your burritos, really important things like that. So, you know, while there is some unfairness with the 20 hours a week, we're definitely on the right track to getting students. The All right, so that's just a sample of, the, of Aggie Now. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. And how often does that come out? It comes out every Friday. All right, so once a week. And uh, where can people see it? Um, so it's on our YouTube page, uh, youtube.com slash ASUCD. Mm -hmm. um, it's also on our Facebook page. I think we have an image of that. You can see what a Facebook page looks <laughs> like uh, if you'd like to see that. A still image of, uh, of the Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> there um, we go. So people subscribe to this and they can get download it and watch it, uh, UC Davis students primarily. Do you find a lot of students are on Facebook or how do you, uh, how do you chase viewers? Yeah, we operate solely online. Um, mm -hmm. That's just our generation now. So yeah. we do everything on YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat, and mostly Facebook. Sure, and do you uh, show any of that on campus as far as, uh, or I thought there used to be like in the coffee house closed circuit TVs and stuff Yeah, like that. we do stuff like that sometimes. Um, we team up with a lot of different other organizations on campus and they'll share it with their people, we'll share their stuff sure. with our people. Um, so it's one big media organization, everyone down there yeah, helping each other out. we're trying to be one big family. Um, maybe even partnering with KDVS or something on uh, yeah, news we, production or whatnot. We actually, they're having a fundraiser coming up and for example, we're doing a promo video for them um, gotcha. and vice versa. So. Very cool. Um, a little bit about the logistics of that workflow then. Is that uh, something that you switch live or is it all done sort of in post-production, that particular show? So, yeah, so it's live to tape, but we film two days in advance just because with being a complete volunteer-based staff, it's mm -hmm. hard to schedule everyone and to find someone to edit. So no one is getting stipends at all? Like you're not, is, is anyone? Um, there's three positions that are getting stipends, okay. but for the most part, it's completely volunteer. I can't imagine, yeah, having to go, I mean, part of your job, I assume, is going to meetings and doing yes. sort of the, <laughs> the part that's not exactly fun. Like, yes. you know, it's, Everyone enjoys and thinks making TV and making media can be a lot of fun, but there's a lot that goes on in the background. Yeah. So I'm glad to hear at least some people are getting some compensation. Because in addition to doing this, I assume you're also a student at UC mm -hmm. Davis. Uh, and is that part of the requirement is that you have to be a student to be involved down there? Or? Yeah. Um, we treat it kind of an educational atmosphere, trying to provide the UC Davis students a place to learn and, and grow and test what they're doing. Right. Um, but we do partner up with alumni sometimes or other people from cool. the community, like I said. So, um, What are some of uh, your goals for this coming year uh, for, the, for Aggie Studios? And yes. I, I assume, are you, now is your position for the whole year? How does that mm -hmm. work? Yeah, okay. so it's for the whole year. I took over um, in June um, doing like some groundwork. Our biggest focus right now is Aggie Now. We wanted to create a show that really gave some anchor experience and reporting experience for our staff. Mm -hmm. um, and then with the whole rebranding, trying to get our name out there, um, trying to show the community that we're students, but we're capable of doing a lot more, and we Heck. are very professional. Too. Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason why not. I think, which kind of brings the point that sometimes uh, the community of Davis hears about some controversial issues uh, at UC Davis. Is that something that you guys 
when you decide on topics, do you shy away from controversy at all, no. or do you, how do you, how do you balance, uh, you know, how do you get balanced sides to all of it? Do you have, is there a journalism background mm -hmm. that people bring to it, or how does that work? Yeah, so we have a whole news department, um, and one of their main, well, I guess for the whole uh, unit, the whole goal is, we say, communication and accountability. If you're going to present a story, you need yeah. to bring hard facts and you need to do your research. Um, it's one thing to say your opinion, and it's another thing to say your opinion backed by facts. Hmm. Um, so, yes. So that's we what could we're use to you do. training some of our DJs yeah. here at KDRT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that. And so, uh, do you you find yourself doing some training, or do people come with all these skills already? Or no. How? So, for example, like when I started, um, I didn't know anything about filming or editing, um, and we create a space filled with workshops. We do reporting workshops filming workshops, yeah. all the things. Um, we're learning from each other just as much as they're learning from us. Um, yeah. So it's a real big team effort. Well, it seems like a lot of educational value. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm glad that you guys are able to, you know, 70, 70 to 80 students getting involved is a, is a good experience, and that's a lot of students. Yeah. I only wish it could be a larger program. Uh, we're <laughs> going. Someday. We're going. This good. is only beginning, so. Um, yeah, so I, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how... You guys, besides growing, how do you how does it work for like just getting staying on top of all the new technologies that comes mm -hmm. out? Uh, do you have to purchase? Do you purchase once a year, or is it just like? It really uh, just time? depends. Um, we try to use what we have as much as possible, but of course, new things come out, things break. Um, so we just uh, we evaluate it on a year to year basis. Um, yeah. A lot of our staff actually has. Um, you know, there's other resources on campus, too, that we'll share with, or yeah. um, ASCCD is really helpful in backing us up when we need it. Awesome. So, so uh, we only have a couple minutes left, yeah. but uh, I want to ask you about the rumor of Freeborn Hall and, uh, you know, the fact that it's it's not sure what's going to happen with all the units yeah. that are in the lower Freeborn area. Do you have any sense of what's going on with that or what will uh, the future holds for, uh, for I guess, creative media, for the Aggie, for all the, for Aggie Studios, KDVS, um, all that kind no of? No idea what's happening. We have construction happening above us, but mm -hmm. we don't know what's happening for us underneath, but I'm sure they have a plan for us somehow. I mean, like, KDVS yeah. has their whole station down there and the Aggie has this awesome room and we yeah. have our whole studio, so... So they'll all end up somewhere, probably under the ASUCD umbrella at some other location. Yeah. Yeah, great. I mean, we're a big campus, so. Great. Uh, well, this has been uh, in the studio with Davis Media Access. So we've been talking to uh, Aisha Basin, the executive producer of Aggie Studios. I encourage everyone to go to their Facebook, which is uh, uh, right now you, everything's in transition. So you're encouraging people to go watch the episodes at facebook.com yeah. slash Aggie Studios, as you see on the um, thing there. Once your website is up, uh, with the, I assume it's just going to be aggiestudios.org or something yeah, like that? Yeah, actually, the exact one. Right now, aggietv.org awesome. is still functioning. You can get a general idea of what we do, but um, it's not updated. So Excellent. Well, this is going to be a great year for you guys, yeah, I hope, thanks. and hope you have a lot of fun. Thanks, thanks for tuning in, and uh, catch us next time uh, here at DCTV, Davis Media Access, Channel 15.